Okay, what's going on guys? Sky Sparks here, uh, bringing you my team week one team builder in the Little Cup League. Check my uh, my team analysis video out if you want to see why I brought what I brought, uh, or what I, why I picked what I picked, not what I brought what I brought, because that's this video. Um, yeah, I'm a little tired. But uh, so overall, um, I really like the draft we had. Um, this is going to be a really fun league. The EV system is messed up for, like, I don't know. Well, it's going to be really stupid calc-wise. So I don't know how much I'm going to calc, <laughs> per se. But I'm just going to have fun with it. I don't even think you can calc in this. You can just be like, oh, yeah, this is going to, this is, like, I need this dead. I need this, whatever. But, like, and especially Evie Light just fucks everything up. Because you're like, oh, I need to do, this does 60%. And it's like, oh, it only does 40. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but without further ado... Here's the teams on the the right, uh, maybe up there. Who knows? Um, like vlog, you know, like vloggers. Yeah, click here, click here to uh, fuck that. Uh -huh. So he has a threatening team. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush there. But Manfu Froki, physical special. It's probably two of the better special and physical picks that you could have in the the A tier. Then you got to do a Hippopotas, uh, Drillbur, Helioptile, which uh, rounds out a good Sandcore. Uh, Doduo is nice. It's a flying type for him. Gets knockoff. Gets utility. I don't think it gets U-turn though. Um, so not as good there, but it's still with knockoff and the flying type itself in a fast Pokemon at 75. Definitely useful. And I don't know why Stunky is 74 speed, whatever. Then you had a C picks of Lilip, Stunky, Darumaka, and, uh, Shroomish. I said that wrong, I think. And thank God that, uh, Darumaka gets, um, doesn't get, uh, uh Sheer Forest. It gets Hustle. So a little Stormtrooper there, going to miss all his shots, hopefully. And then Dust Skull to round it out. If he brings Dust Skull, it's going to be his Eviolite user, I feel. It's just too good not to be an Eviolite user. Um, and then, um, so yeah, overall, like, I was looking at his team, and I had a busy week this week. Like, I had two midterms on Thursday uh, that I was stressing out about. And uh, so I didn't really start actually putting pen to paper until... Uh, until today saturday right so saturday but like I, I did look at his team and i did write it down and i was kind of like debating what my best course of action was throughout the week kept it like in the back of my mind because i feel like that's the best way to team build you kind of you throw down your ideas on a piece of paper um both teams and you're like okay like um what pokemon do you do you feel look good in this matchup and what pokemon on his side look good for him and then you just kind of go to the week. You go like a three, four days and you just like, you just debate it in the back of your mind. Like, ooh, I could run this. I could run this. And then you just sit down, pen to paper, crush it out in half an hour to an hour. And then you get like a good four months. And then you kind of do like, you leave, do something else, do some more thinking on it. And then you're ready to battle by like Friday, Saturday. And that's what I did. I'm really confident about this team. Um, I will, uh, I will say now Helioptile is something I'm not, um, I'm hoping he doesn't bring. I don't like its matchup against me this game. I don't like the fact it has uh, Sandvale, because I'm the only one allowed Sandvale. But uh, it, it's just it's a powerful Pokemon with normal stab. And I don't have a Mach Punch user, which uh, hurts me. So I can't really capitalize on its normal weakness uh, or normal type typing. And with HP Ice, uh, Hyper Voice, elect like uh, Thunder Bolt, I guess. It covers a lot of my team, and um, I do bring a check to it, uh, but, like, it's not the best check, and I probably will switch up my check for it next game if I ever play him again, just because, I don't know, it, it's a scary Pokemon. And then Doduo was something that's going to threaten this team build, just because I don't like my, um, my, my, my sweep relies on the ground, so the fact that he can dodge that, that's the only Pokemon that can dodge that. So the three Pokemon I'm worried about four Pokemon in order for uh my I guess five no four four in order for my uh my sweep to work I need Hippopotas and Lilip if he brings those I need those weakened to a certain health or I need to start building up some moxie boosts I need Doduo out or if I have if Doduo if Doduo I don't if I, Doduo is not there I need Doduo or Mianfu out because Mianfu resists crunch Doduo resists earthquake um one of those two are I need to be on um, Hippopotas, Drillber, no, not Drillber, Hippopotas and Lilip have to be weakened, or I need, like I said, I need a steamroll just so that I can break through them. Um, more Lilip because I don't want that thing thrown off a Giga Drain. Um, and from there, I like that, I'm fine. Like, 
once I get those killed, as long as I um I like check the team a little bit, like I I feel like I have a good chance as a matchup to just sweep with uh, the Hamburglar. But he's gonna you know hopefully he steals me this match. But um yeah I have to respect some Pokemon in this team, so I start out with my defensive core. Um with uh the beginning of my defensive core here is Dumbo got a bright powder sandville if he brings a uh if he brings sand which i think he's gonna bring just because it's week one i feel like he's gonna throw out the sand um and that's he drafted it just for that so um earthquake stealth rocks to knock off rock tomb rock tomb to get some speed control just so i can hit the do duo because like i said the duo is something that uh prevents my sweep uh earth and then earthquake can hit the things that it's, it's stab right so there's no reason not to bring earthquake Knock off Stealth Rocks. Hopefully, I can knock off uh, a leftovers or a uh, knock off some kind of knock off some kind of Evulate. If I can get one of those out, that's gonna help Stand Dial here. Um, Simba is also my offensive mon, meant to uh, deal with uh, do, deal some offensive pressure, but it's not like my win condition. It's just more to like to deal with uh, some some of his Pokemon. And overall, yeah, just a pretty simplistic uh, uh, set. I just threw as much as I could in defense, and then, so I figured out every 80 EV is, is one point, so I threw 196, but I think there's a little, like, there's, like, you'll have, you'll, there's, like, a bar, and if you're almost there, it might only take, like, 24 EVs to hit the next level, and then after you hit that first level, the rest are 80, um, from what I'm understanding, um, I haven't, I don't deal with, because I can lower this watch, if I lower this to 80, 36, 36, 116, that's 80 EVs, so 36 hits the benchmark, 80, and there. So did I? I think I threw everything into... I think I got lucky. I got lucky that all three of these work. So this set, 196, 196, 116, all boosts my um, my EVs. Because like you'll find that there'll be like some sets where you have like 50 EVs remaining and it doesn't do like shit all because you need 80 to move up a point. But uh, but yeah, this thing is gonna... This thing's gonna hopefully uh, make Mianfu miss a high jump kick. Uh, or he misses a U-turn or something. Oh, if he misses a U-turn, that would be amazing. Or a knockoff or whatever. Because <laughs> this brings a uh, 100% accurate... The, like, the two combined bring 100% accurate moves down to like 71 or 72. So it's like you're trying to hit a focus blast every turn. Uh, next Pokemon. This is like the first Pokemon I was thinking of with this um this team before the uh, Hamburger Lair. Uh, just the idea, like Wise Glasses, Flamethrower, Hyper Voice, Hidden Power Ice... Uh, deals a lot of damage to his team. I didn't want to be the choice locked, and wise glasses. I feel I feel like with uh, a normal stab, wise glasses are better. And I didn't really want the leftover or the life orb uh, recoil damaging me. Well, uh, he's not gonna really calc anything, but it, I guess it could in a, a league with like if they're all level hundred. It would add some uh, it adds some weird calcs on his end. And then dark pulse is just there, so duskull doesn't wall me. Uh, I hit most of his team with the first three moves. And then, like I said, Dark Paul is just that fourth move that I can hit Dust Call if I need to. But I'm not really going to click that unless, like, he switches into my Flamethrower and then, like, Dark Pulse kills, but Flamethrower doesn't. So like that. And I can go for Flinch Hacks, too, if I'm being cheeky. Um, just max special attack. Um, max speed. Because, yeah, that's going to put me to 260, the next 80. And then just max that, and then max that. And I don't think that mattered. Oh, it did matter. 22, 23. Yeah, so you know that matters. Oh, wow, I'm getting lucky, man. Yeah. Uh, third Pokemon, again, I have to appreciate his top two picks. Uh, Water Absorb, Rindo Berry, means that if he's Protean and he switches, he goes to the Grass Knot. Um, I live it. It does like 40 to 20 to 40% to me. And I just Revenge with the Ice Beam, which if with that special attack investment, does 100% to a Grass type uh, Froakie. Um, assuming he doesn't have any investment, because like I said, the EVs are kind of messed up. If he throws stuff into special defense because he has leftover stuff, then, I mean, all the power to him, I guess. Uh, and then Scald Ice Beam, really good. Uh, I don't really want to click Scald until Lilip dies, just because that Water Absorb, I don't want him getting health back. Um, and then uh, Toxic, again, can switch into the Lilip. Uh, can weaken the Hippopotas too. So if I don't really know what move to click, can throw off a toxic, can toxic the dust call. Um I can get some I can, get, I can just get some chip damage, and that's what I need for uh Sandile. And recover is just there in case I in case I decide to use it. Um uh, I could be you know, I could be useful through the match. Um 
to keep this thing uh, alive, I guess. Uh, I did have a different move on there. I think I had Will O Wisp, and then, but then I replaced Will O Wisp with Toxic, and I f figured I didn't need both, and I didn't want to rec recover. But um, we got Sandile here, Hamburglar. I was gonna go Banded, but I realized that Doduo would still speed me if he brought it, so I decided that the Scarf was better. Uh, Earthquake, Crunch, just stab moves. Um, if I can kill, like I said, certain things on this team, I can just lock myself into one and just steamroll from there. Aqua Tail is there if I need to kill Hippopotas or the Darumako or something like that. Earthquake kills Darumako. But if I needed to kill the Drillbur or the Hippopotas, um, and Facade, if he somehow gets me poisoned or burnt or something, I don't have to, because I have no heal bell on this team. So if he somehow burns me, I don't know why or how he would. If he does do that, though, I have the option of Facade. Obviously not against Duskull, but um, I can hit the rest of his team hard with his only normal switch in being the leap. And I guess, like I said, Duskull. So he has two normal switches, but um, I still, I don't think uh, the leap will appreciate a, um, uh, an adamant facade. And I didn't calc this, but I'm pretty sure a scarfed uh, adamant sand dial will outspeed a, um, a drill burr under webs, even in the sand. And if it outspeeds that, I'm pretty sure it's outspeeding anything on his team scarfed, except the Doduo, because obviously the Doduo will not be affected by the sticky webs, um, even though it doesn't really fly. Then we have Sparky here, really a kind of like cheap, um, poor way to deal with Helioptile if he does bring it. AV, T-Bolt, Swift, Volt Switch, HP Ground. If he runs, um, I, I was debating this um, between HP Ice and HP Ground, and I felt the Lilip was more of a threat to my team than Hippotoss or Drillbur. So I figured um, hitting it... Wait, what? No, I, f I figured the Helioptile was more of a threat than the Leap, Drillbur, and Hippotoss. I can always Volt Switch on the Leap, um, and then I can always um, do other stuff against it. But being able to deal like 70 to 90% to a Helioptile was more important to me. And Swift being there allowed me to hit a Sand Veil Helioptile if I needed to do like a, just a bit of chip damage in the sand. Um, and then it's more of a momentum switch and he can't lock himself into electric moves. And I don't have to um, to risk the HP Ice with, uh, with the Hamburglar. And this allows me to again switch into Hyper Voices, what I was most afraid of. Just because it's, it's hard to switch into a Hyper Voice. But I figured, I did figure that his Helioptile is most likely going to be HP Fire. Because he could run HP Ice, but he has, I don't have any rock ground, so there's like the, or steel ground, so he, he's allowed to, he's allowed to just hyper voice my ground types, and finish them off on a two eight kill, but he doesn't really have an answer to Pharaoh Seed if he doesn't run, uh, HP Fire, and maybe he decides not to bring it because he doesn't want to, because the um, between the Pharaoh Seed and my ground types and my electric type, he doesn't feel Helioptile is a good matchup. It's an iffy matchup um, against this specific team. It does some work, um, but again, he's got to make sure he is either not choiced or he um, brings the right move coverage. Because you could run like, if, I don't know if he gets Surf though, because normal Helio, Helio list gets Surf, and between Surf, Thunderbolt, Hyper Voice, and HP Fire, he covers most of my team. So um, that's why this is here, just as a, a way to deal with that. And finally, the sticky webs is uh is there just for um for Sandile and uh, Litleo mainly, and Litleo is unnerved. I don't think I mentioned that, but it was more of a this allowed me to break through parts of his team that had berries and that uh because berries I think are gonna be really common in this uh this thing since they're only like one of each item, but um leftovers rain dish rain dance allows me to stall out Pokemon like Drillbur and Hippopotas. Uh, I resist uh, resist ground moves, and then hopefully I resist a fighting or rock move if he brings it. But toxic's there, scald's there, sticky webs there. Toxic because without it, um, Lil Leap walls me, and uh, I can't afford to let Lil Leap get health through back through a scald, and um, and get toxic. Uh, but yeah, here's my team. I will meet you in the, the battle. I guess that's there's no point of watching this. You're not gonna watch the battle, right? So uh, I'll see you there.